what up YouTube? It's a nice to hear back with another video. And this video is going to be dealing with a neglectful upbringing. Uh, in my experience, like I said, I think bids, I think from the last video, well, the video about sensitiveness, uh, I believe that neglect, being neglected is like a, it's like an overlooked sense of like trauma, you know, like everybody, everybody know like the main traumas are like, you know, sexual, the sexual assault period, uh, you know, physical abuse, uh, like those really are, like, or just verbal abuse. Those are like the main ones. But a lot of people don't, a lot of people overlook the idea of just neglect. Just the lack of care. Uh, and I think that's like one that's just really reigning supreme in ours that everybody distracted. Everybody got something going on and everybody is trying to live a life and they let a lot of things fall to the wayside. For example, like, of course, like, you know, the more important thing is like kids. One second. Like kids, for example. Uh, I grew up in a household of 10 kids, the middle child. On top of that, my father was absent and my mom was always at work. So right there off rip, that's just a recipe for disaster. I'm, I'm actually, you know, I'm grateful that nothing happened to anybody for like severe because it's kind of crazy how life happened where we're all doing okay now, especially like 10 kids with, you know, just two parents that's very in their own world and not worried about like, well, of course worried, but not giving too much attention to kids and just letting kids complete, go, come and go as they please. Uh, but so many times. Growing up, it's like a lack of attention. It's like, and you can see it in kids, like how sometimes kids don't fight for their parents' attention. Uh, I know when I was younger, I would see that it was many times where, you know, I can, not, I can't count on my finger. I know it's been too many times like I'm trying to fight for my parents' attention. And it's, it's sort of, like I said, it's kind of sad to see, even sad to see, like I'll be seeing it now. Like I think one time, Example or oh, an experience, I was at work, like I'm just doing my job, and it's this kid, like just it's like it had to be like he had to be like two or three. My mom was blank, uh, and I'm just like, dang, this kid is going around walking to everybody up, like with his hands up, like it's not like a, and not like a regular like hands up, it's like a hands up like pick me up, and I'm like. First, I laughed at it, and then, like, he did it to, like, a couple more people, and then he went to his mama. Like I said, my mom was clear. I wasn't, like, you know how, like, some thoughts be consecutive. Like, you see, like, how you see how A get to B, B get to C, and then C get to D. It wasn't like that. It was, like, my thoughts literally went from A to Z. Like I said, it was at the it was the, end, the first point, like, well, which was I saw the little kid. And then the end point was, like I said, the thought that I had. So basically, the thought that I literally had is that his mother be neglecting him. I'm like, and I would, it was so crazy how it even happened. Cause I'm at work, I'm like, I'm very reserved. I try to be observing my thoughts at all times. But when it happened, it just caught me by a loop. Cause I'm like, I just know how my thought pattern is and how I think. But when I literally just had it, I, the, it felt like somebody literally dropped a thought inside of my head. And I'm like, and it was just like, dang, like, and he was just acting out. At, nobody's picking him up. Then his mama didn't want to pick him up. And he just threw a fit like in the floor. You know, just little kids, you know, when they don't get what they want, they just be throwing the fits in the floor. And I'm like, and then as he's throwing the fit in the floor, the thought popped in my head. And I'm like, damn. And like I said, it just made me reminisce about this myself. And I mean, I don't ever feel like I was uh, neglect, neglect, like, neglected like that. But, you know, it's just like certain things that I know I was neglected, but not that, you know. And it could be on both ends, you know, like just through my experience, I know just growing up fathers, that just feel like, I think a lot of young men know, nowadays know how that feels like. Just growing up fathers, you make you feel like you work. It's gonna make, it make you feel like you're not worth nothing. That even your father don't want to, you know, come talk to you or even have a conversation with you. Like I said, that type of shit make you feel bad. It make you feel like you ain't worth shit. And that's why a lot of these kids now just be going out, they just going out their mind. Not going out their mind, just 
crashing out. That's the term now, crashing out. They just go crashing out, just doing whatever they want because they already did from their parents. Their parents don't let them know they worth nothing. So they go out, for one, trying to find what they worth, but at the same time, knowing that they ain't worth shit. And like I said, a lot of these kids is really just suicidal in a way. They're trying to end their own suffering because they don't want to have to deal with the truth of reality is that, you know, they had terrible parents, you know, you know, and that they fucked up and they traumatized severely. Uh, so, yeah, I know from the father's angle that, uh, you know, having fathers and just being neglected by a father is not that good. It's very taxing on like your self-esteem on my self-esteem it was it's very like damn like this nigga really don't want to fuck with me he like he really don't want to talk to me like it's like how do you in my own mind I, I i don't understand how you can be a man or call yourself a man and you got kids out there that you don't want to talk to you know and like i said it's not even like it's a like somebody's keeping away from you like you don't want to go have a conversation you can't you don't want to be around them, you know they don't they're your kids so especially as like a kid and me just noticing this and just really understanding it Made me very angry. It made me very sad. It made me just it, it infuriated me, you know. And that was that was the one form of neglect that I experienced from just having a lack of a father. But on the other end of that spectrum of you know having a mother there that was there, and of course, like I said, I forgive them for what they did. But you know, cause life life is life. You know, I said you gonna get mad. You gonna get mad for you can't be mad forever for what you know they did. What they thought what they was right. You know, like I said, it's, like I said, everybody got their own shit going on. And like I said, people make mistakes. Uh, I remember I used to be very mad that, you know, they wouldn't even acknowledge it. And like I said, I just gave up on trying to even acknowledge it because even if, even if they did, they wouldn't, you know, they wouldn't be sincere. So that's something I had to give up on. So, yeah. Uh, but on the other end of that spectrum is the mother. I think that mothers in today's day and age, you know, like, very quick to give up on their sons in a way. Well, my experience is that it seemed like let me not even let me stop trying to speak in general terms. From my experience, that my sense of neglect that I got from my mother was basically like you know, of course, it's like a little less care for like the boys, and it's sort of like a reinforcement of. The father part where it's like damn like growing up in school well growing up of course for one you a teenager uh, this is in high school my my senior my, my, my senior my freshman year of high school it was a picture that my teacher took of me i even know she still had this picture it was a goofy ass picture i'm like damn and basically in the picture my hair is fucked up uh hair is fucked up um uh, my inside my shirt collar is fucked up and i don't know if i was still running around musty like that but i feel like i would <laughs> but i was still running around the house and just running around just fucked up and personally i think i said i think that if you care about somebody enough or you paying attention enough it's the certain things you should be able to call out and at times when I think about it, I'm like, I'll just be wondering, like, damn, like, how the hell was I able to go around and people not, like, you know, pointing out, like, yo, like, yo, collar's fucked up. Oh, like, you know, like, my mama wouldn't even be like, oh, like, you need a haircut or something. Like, I just, and I get, you know, young boys just, that's how little boys are. Like, a lot of little boys, especially if they ain't worried about no girl yet. This is going around with them. I don't give a fuck about nothing, man. And it's like, and it's like, uh, and by you, people are not, Taking or paying more attention or just allowing them to do that. It's like a, it's like a, allowing somebody to do harm in a way. Like you allow people to, you know, in a way people, I know how people say, you, know, you allow people to treat you the way that they treat you, you know, like you should, you should show people how to treat you so they can treat you that way. It's like that. It's like people, they don't, let nobody know. Like I said, you would think that if somebody loved you enough, they'd tell you what's wrong with you. And they wouldn't let you, they wouldn't leave you how you're fucked up, you know? Like, I'd be telling people, like, when they be fucked up outside because I don't like, I would hate for somebody to let me just be what fucked up outside like that now. 
like earlier, had some white shit on my beard. This lady said, you got some white stuff on your beard. And I was like, thank you. Because like I said, a lot of people look at you sideways, but they won't tell you. And like I said, that just really shows how people really just, you know, people with true character and what's on their mind for real. So, yeah. So in that sense, neglect just came from just the lack of like attention of, like I said, the lack of the presence that was here. If I get that you stay, you know, you get that parents, how they own situation, they still got all this shit to worry about. But, you know, the lack of presence that is ultimately, is ultimately where, you know, that the lack of presence is the thing that got, gets me, you know, like, and oftentimes you can see this, like with parents, like I said, they like, oh, well, you know, they try to play both. It's like I said, they like, both parents like to point fingers at each other, but like I said, they don't ever take the time to take accountability like what they could have done better and like i said and i stopped trying to fight for it and trying to get that understanding out of them but you know it is what it is you know i think I, and i still come through now i remember i gotta come through and you know come through with the truth and the sword and you know be like yo how about i say like i said just because you stayed don't mean you did a better job than you did you know so and i think that's the truth i think people would want to like i said parents like to be living their delusions I think people like living their delusions, period. Even myself, there's times where I'll be having to, like, really, like, take a step back and look at what the fuck I'm doing because I'll be, you understand, like I said, of course, everybody got their day-to-day, -day, but you have to really be present in your own life to really know that, you know, to understand that, like I said, that at times you may be disillusioned. You may be just be you may be living off of a high, and, you know, or you may just be living off of love. And it's like, you just got to come back to reality. You just got to be present and you just got to be real with yourself. But yeah, uh, yeah, if y'all like the video, like, comment, subscribe, comment if it's relatable or not. Uh, shit. Uh, yeah. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to y'all later.